Welcome Aquarius, this is Renee and welcome to my channel. This is going to be a bonus reading. What is your next big romance that's coming through for you? We're going to see what this big romance is. We're going to see about your energy. We're going to see about your person's energy. We're going to find out a little bit about this person. Um, probably in detail and we're gonna see where this relationship is going and then we're gonna take some advice okay first of all let's start with your energy Aquarius what is your energy align your intentions with your actions Align your attentions with your actions. Okay, we're going to take a look at your person's energy. Tell me more about this new romance. This new romance is coming through for Aquarius. What is this person's energy at the moment? What is this person thinking or feeling? Listen to your intuition. Okay, so this person is following their their own lead and you may feel like you need to be balanced at the moment. You may feel like you're a little off balance, but I feel like you, your intentions are well. Your intentions are good, um, but you may feel like you're a little off balance at the moment. But that's okay. That there's nothing wrong with that. Just you may want to align yourself, align your spirit, align, you know, your ground yourself in a more pleasant atmosphere. That's what's coming. Ground yourself in a more pleasant atmosphere you may be facing a lot of chaos at the moment your schedule may be pretty hectic so take time out to balance yourself take time out for you take a cleansing bath you know do something that you enjoy doing yeah okay so you, you're you're not really feeling the love thing right now. You're like, you just don't want to deal with it. You don't want to be pressured by it. You may not want to. You may be focused on other things at the moment. And I feel like life is pretty chaotic for you at the moment. So you feel like, you know, you just may not have time. You may not have time for this situation to come through yet. Tell me more about your person. What energies do your person have when it comes to love? Passion. Okay, so this person sees you as having an insane chemistry. They're hoping you have the same passion. They really want to pursue you. I feel like this person may be chasing you. This person may be really pursuing you in a way that right now may make you a little uncomfortable because everything's so chaotic. Everything's so up in the air. Your schedule is full, you know. Um, but I feel like this person is very persistent. They, they really see you as a love interest. They see you as something special. As something interesting. You know? And as I'm looking at the cards... The first thing you may see about this person or the first thing they may see about you is your eyes. Your eyes may tell so many stories to this person. 
they may really compliment you on your eyes. They tell you you have beautiful, beautiful eyes. Or your eyes are speaking to me. You know, things that you don't say. But very interesting words. Very interesting. Tell me more about this love interest before we get into the tarot. Tell me more about this love interest. What is, what is Aquarius looking for when it comes to love? What is Aquarius looking for when it comes to love? Beautiful. Acceptance. Aquarius is looking for acceptance. Acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times, we must accept things as they are. There is no point trying to change that which is beyond our control. So, yeah, I feel like that's the reason why we have that not today. Because you're looking for acceptance, Aquarius. You're looking for someone who can fulfill your need. And I'm not sure if the past person that you were with ever did that. I don't feel like you've been truly accepted. Um, I feel like you're seeing things as totally out of, out of your control. You're seeing things as beyond your scope of measure, you know? Very interesting energy, Aquarius. But I, I feel like you've, you're very close to giving up on love, but not yet. And I feel like this new passion, this new love, this new romance is going to take you out of that spirit. Okay, this is from your person. A message for you. I'm thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. Okay, so for your person, I feels like I feel like for your person, this love interest grows very quickly. I feel like they're head over heels um, with you. I feel like this this very well could be love at first sight with this eye being here. This could be love at first sight. This person is being led by their intuition. They're being drawn. You are their magnetic north, Aquarius. You are their magnetic north. This person is drawn to you for a reason and it's not just for passion. This person is drawn for you in, in so many other ways. That's the feeling I'm getting from this person. Tell me more about this person, Spirit. Tell me more about this person. What are this person's characteristics? What is this person drawn to in Aquarius? We have the Justice card. So this person feels a lot of balance. This person, they're definitely in it to win it. They're, they're, they also may be very truthful, very honest, very caring. They also may be in, in some scope of the law um, industry with the, the balance scales. With the balance scales, their profession may, may have something to do with the law. They may be an officer, they may be a judge, they may be a lawyer, a prosecutor, you know, um, but I, I feel like they're their profession has to do with something of the law. Maybe they're military. Very interesting. Tell me more about this person. Tell me more about this person. But I feel like this person is very honest. They're very giving. They, they kind of follow some kind of routine. 
they have a strict day-to-day -day routine that they follow. It may be health or it may be exercise. Um, but I feel like they follow a very strict routine. They're very structured. Tell me more about this person. The Page of Swords. Okay, so I, I feel like this person, you've sparked their curiosity. This, this person is very curious about you. They want to find out more. They feel like just seeing you by chance or seeing you for a short time just isn't enough. They need to know more. This person also may be studying some kind of profession. They may still be in school studying. But I feel like they're very curious. They're very anxious to know. Okay, we have the Eight of Wands. Yes. They're anxious to know. They're anxious to know more about you. They want to take action. They're very active. Driven. This person is very social. They like to talk. the nine of pentacles yeah so definitely this person is a hard worker they're very independent they're very that they could also be wealthy um, in their situation very resourceful um, I feel like this person they may have been single for a while or they may enjoy their time alone they may enjoy that you know, relaxation. But I feel like this person has everything that they need. They have everything that they need but love. We have the Knight of Swords. So I feel like this person, although their life goes at a fast pace, maybe their profession goes at a, a fast pace, but I feel like this person takes their time. They're not very hasty when it comes to making decisions, to making plans. I feel like this person kind of uses their intuition. They go with the flow of whatever is happening. Um, they know when to stand still and they know when to take action. But I also feel like this person, that they indeed like to talk. They like to conversate. I feel like they enjoy the camaraderie of conversation. This person may also have a lot of patience. They have, they may have just been through a lot of changes in their life. And we have the moon, okay. Yeah, there's definitely been changes in their lifestyle. I feel like they may have been single for a while. 
but I feel like maybe they've decided to start dating again. They've decided to make certain changes. Maybe they're one that really, you know, work a lot of hours, put a lot of time into work. But I feel like this person, they're following a new path. Like I said, this is another card of trusting your intuition. Um, so I feel like that's something very big with this person. It, it may be that this person is very spiritual. Maybe they meditate. Um, maybe they also read tarot or they listen to readings. But I feel like this person follows by their intuition. We have the Four of Cups. So this is a dreamer. This is a dreamer as well. This person has dreams. This person has thoughts and plans that they want to act upon. Um, I feel like this person is likely feeling unfulfilled at the moment. They think that something is missing. Something is missing from their life. They're trying to pursue some kind of new qualities, new projects. And this person, with the King of Pentacles, this person may be an earth sign, but this person is very reliable. They're very stable. They're very loyal. The, you can trust this person. You can trust this person. They will be there for you. They'll be your rock. They're very solid. This person is also a wise investor. So it, it, it could be that, you know, with, with the King of Pentacles and the Justice card, like I said, I feel like this person is into some kind of legal profession, some kind of legal profession, something that has to do with the law. So that this person may be well off. This person may be busy, but this person has a lot of resources. They have a lot of gain, a lot of material wealth. We have the Eight of Cups. So yeah, I, with the Eight of Cups, I feel like this person, this person is moving on from something. They're, they're moving on from some kind of situation. They're just leaving some kind of situation. And the fool, yeah, they, they've they've left some sort of situation and now they're they're on a new soul journey. They're taking new chances, new risks. They're looking for a new beginning. They're looking to take that leap. They're looking for a new soul journey. Definitely. Tell me more about this person, spirit. Tell me more about this person. What kind of qualities does this person have? Oh, okay. They want you. So they're very persistent. This person is very persistent. This person who's coming into your life, they know what they want. And they want you. They want to get to know you better. This person may be older. They may be a few years older than you. Or they, they just may 
seem like an old soul. Or this person may just seem older than their years. They're wiser than their years. They've been through some things. They've been through some things. So, yeah, this person... And you may meet this person online. You may meet this person, or you may be conversating with this person. You may feel like... <laughs> I, I just seen I'm not ready to talk to you yet. I feel like you're kind of putting this person on the back burner at the moment. You're putting this person, you're not quite ready to talk with them. Because you don't know how to pick up the pieces, how to start things off. You're having a hard time starting things with this person. But this person has been through some things. I feel like this person has had people around them that they couldn't trust. And I feel like that put them in a place of healing. You know? And like I said, I feel like this person is a lot wiser than their age. Than, you know, what, what they are meant to be. This person may be... They may have had to deal with a lot of things in their life. But I feel like that has made them who they are. Tell me a little bit more about this person, about this connection. Tell me about this connection. The Knight of Cups. Yeah, this person, this may be your knight in shining armor. Aquarius, this may be a person who just sweeps you off of your feet. I feel like this person has good intentions. They have a lot of love to give. With you meeting them online or conversating online, maybe through social media or through a DM, um, but I feel like this person, they, like I said, I, I, I think they like to talk. I think your conversations will be long. But this person wants to offer you something that is meaningful. Meaningful to them is how I'm feeling. Yeah, you have the Ace of Pentacles. So I feel like this is a new beginning. A new beginning in everything, actually. You have the King of Wands at the bottom. So Aquarius, this is a passionate, passionate person. They're very bold, very assertive. Like I said, I feel like this person has drive. They're driven. Um, this person is also very powerful, very fearless. So they may do things that may make you very skeptical. I feel like this person may have some kind of ambitions. They may do things on the side that you're not quite down with. You know, they may like to skydive. They may like to drive race cars. You know, they, they may do something that's very controversial that kind of keeps your mind moving. But I feel like this person is very, very exciting. I feel like they have a motivation that's very, very exciting. Tell me more about this love. Tell me more about this love. Lightning. See, very exciting. This is going to bring a lot of sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, transformation, upheaval. This person 
is like lightning in a bottle. They're just active, very active, very motivated. I feel like this is going to be a sudden change, but I think it's going to be a sudden change that's very welcoming. Very welcoming. Yeah, and I feel like this person, like I said, I feel like this person has been heartbroken. They've been deeply hurt. Um, but I, I feel like they're ready to move past it. They're ready to move past it and put you up on a pedestal. There's girl talk on the bottom. So yeah, I feel like this person is ready to move on. You may even talk to this person like you would one of your friends. Um, you may have long, fun conversations with this person. You may talk about silly things. You know, like just TV shows that are just out there. Comedy, you know. I feel like you talk to this person about just about anything. I feel like there's a comfort level with this person that's like unspeakable. This person brings you a lot of comfort, a lot of emotions that are kind of untold. This person awakens things within you that maybe you didn't think were able to be awakened. But this is your new passion. This is your, the new romance that's coming towards you, Aquarius. This is what you have to look forward to. If this reading resonates with you, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And make sure to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity on your situation. Make sure to comment below. And Aquarius, Happy New Year. Many blessings to you. Love and light.